Okay, guys, it's New Year's Eve. This is where we're going. <laughs> we're just coming for dinner. Um, the restaurant in here, it's called Sammy's. I vlogged it before with Bestie, and the food is fire, obviously, because it's a gambling hall. Hey, Kingpins. Yeah, so last we checked in, I believe it was Christmas Day. I released the vlog today. God, I was rushing like you wouldn't believe to get that out. I wanted to make sure I got the last one out before the end of the year. So, yeah, we're at Stones in Citrus Heights. Um, we're just having dinner. We actually had all the plans. Like, when I tell you all the plans, we had all the plans to go out tonight. We even both got two new outfits. We were going to go to the gay four square in downtown Sac, it's Faces and um, Badlands and that one bar that's to the left. I can never remember the name of it, but we were gonna go out, shake a tail feather, drink, do all that, and just, I woke up in every other mood but that. So we did have a really, really, really good workout. Like we went to the gym. It was a sauna workout, which we do a lot during the winter, but- I stretch. She stretched and I just did a whole bunch of calisthenics like with my bands and all that. So probably going to be a little sore tomorrow, but it was a killer workout and I am starting a fitness challenge tomorrow, guys. So it's going to be on my Instagram stories. Remember, I am King Kinsey. Follow, like, all that. Please help your girl out. Um, yeah, so fitness challenge. It's called the first 24 of 2024 just do anything fitness challenge so anything that is considered exercise so even like my sauna workouts whether you're just doing yoga in your living room like I do or um, dancing or whatever just exercise whatever gets your heart gets your heart pumping gets your you know muscle stimulated so that's the challenge and to do it obviously every day for the first 24 days of 2024 anyway guys so yeah I'm starving. I'm like, really hungry. We gotta go. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. See you guys next year. Mm. <laughs> Y'all. Okay, so we're inside, right? I know you can hear all that music, like, fuck, copyright, but if you can hear me, let me get in close, bitch. Y'all, they got a whole DJ and everything. Like, I was not expecting this. Like, it's like a whole thing, look. Yeah. Oh, she's coming out for dinner. Yeah, I'm away. I'm away. For a seat at the bar, so that's, that's perfect. Copyright, I'm not gonna be able to even use this motherfucking footage. Like, Happy New Year! <laughs> Hey guys, so it is Saturday, January 6th. It's my 
Boogie's birthday. Forks. It's so dark in here. Uh, can you turn that light on? I'll turn this light on. Ooh, she just did her skincare. I'm nice and greased up. Forks, see it. So we, of course, made plans to go outside. It's not happening, of course. Um, she actually ended up working like 10 hours today, so she's just, huh? 11 hours? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Boogie. Yeah, so she had a very, very, very long day at work. And rightfully so, is not in the mood to go outside. Um, we ordered in because we were actually going to go back to Stowe. <laughs> we were just there for New Year's, but we were going to go back because their food is fire. Like, period. <laughs> Delicious. There's so many entrees we want to have. And they have new ones, too, so we're going to be back. Um... We were, oh, we were going to actually go there. Oh, you guys, I got to brush my hair out. I just washed it. Um, oh, that looks good. Oh, their food looks good. So we ended up ordering Mexican anyway. So we were going to go to Stone's. Changed our mind a billion times, but we're staying home, obviously. And we just ordered in through DoorDash from this Mexican restaurant. I forget the name of it. What's the name of it? I forgot. Girl. Oh, this is DoorDash's. Um, I don't know. All right. Well, so sorry. Uh, <laughs> so sorry. Don't know, but it looks like some fire ass, authentic ass Mexican food. And I'm finna dig in. I'm finna fuck with the cheese, y'all. Don't come for me, but I'm, I gotta fuck with the cheese. Because Mexican food ain't shit without cheese. I mean, what are you supposed to do? And it's her birthday, so. I'm going to indulge. I'm going to accept the calories, even though I'm right smack in the middle of a fitness challenge. I'm just going to have to work a little harder. It's going to be okay. Look at her. Look at her taco salad. That shit looks hella abundant. Mm -hmm. It looks delicious, man. So we're going to watch. I can't say it because I haven't told, I haven't told her what it's going to be, but we're going to watch. It's, it's comedy, but it's like. It's not stand up, but it was like live. I can't even say anything. Uh, it's it's like two plus hours long. It's gonna be hella funny. We're gonna be like over here choking anyway. So, yeah, Faye's birthday. How you feel? I love you. It's not focusing. Give me a kiss. Okay, anyway, yeah, I'm finna stuff my face, and then, I don't know, we might talk, we might not, I don't know, I, I, I don't know. Holla at you guys later, bye! <laughs> this nigga crazy. I'm so scared I'm gonna drop it. Happy birthday to you. She got the ice cream ready. Look at that. Look at that. Hey guys. What is good? Today is Wednesday very much hump day and it's giving very much hump day because i ain't in the mood to do shit it is so cold outside and so windy the thought of going outside just to go to the gym here in my complex mm, i don't want to do it i won't do it i will find any reason any reason to engage in a home workout because no ma'am no ma'am no pam like i just uh, i feel like i have to put three layers on to go out there just to get to the gym then take it all off because the bitch is gonna get hot like no and i'm in the middle of this fitness challenge first 24 24 just do something fitness challenge it's going very well um but i have yet to film today's 
session. So that's actually going to be the next thing I do. Anyway, welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new here, I am King Kinsey or Ray, whichever you prefer. Let me move this because I am not appreciating the angle. Anyway, welcome back to another video in my horribly lit apartment. I literally have my, you know, I stay with ASMR, so I have my ASMR on and it's not giving resolution quality, but it's giving very much light. So, and you know, the jazz music, I like a little jazzy jazz in the background, but it is literally not even one I would watch, but I have it on. <sighs> what? So my camera just decided to do some sneak shit, like just decided to go on standby mode without being told to do so. So I don't understand what just happened there, but if you are new here, yes, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, be made aware first of when I drop my videos. This will be the a part of the first video I drop for the new year. So um, I have been on the computer since this morning and I just got off, so I need to, um, work out. Mm. And I got my mushroom coffee. You know, I alternate with this mushroom coffee today, tea tomorrow, and I just alternate, but <sighs> this stuff right here, I did a post on Instagram, um, just letting y'all know the hype is real because this shit is so good. Like, and I'm not just talking about taste. I'm talking about what it does for your mind, what it does for your body, what it does for your gut. Love. Mm. Anyway, this shit is legit and it will keep your regular. It'll keep that tummy flat. Okay. You're going to eat and then you're going to shit it out on this because this has probiotics and prebiotics. Speaking of regularity, excuse me. I feel so much better. <laughs> I'm not playing. I'm not playing. So if y'all can see out there, let me zoom in. Very much, very much Christmas decorations are still up. You can kind of see them on the railing. But anyway, it is so cold and windy out there, guys. I don't want to go outside. I don't want to do it. Yeah, so it's just me here alone. My mom just left. Um, and Bae's been at work all day, so she is due home probably in about 30 minutes. How are you guys doing? It is day 10. How are you doing? Drop me a comment. Leave it down below. What has been going on in your world, in your life? What's going on in your head? What's going on? Let's be transparent. Let's build this friendship. Let's talk, you know? Engage with me, Kingpins. You know what? Between this and the mushroom coffee, Hold, please. Yeah. I'm telling you. That mushroom coffee gonna keep you real regular. Be within a certain amount of feet of the toilet because you're gonna stay real regular. <laughs> TMI. But anyway. Um, yeah, I need to... Let me bending down to you guys. And I look fucking crazy from this angle. Like all because fucking lighten in this position. I could actually raise this up a bit. Oh, okay. All right. Gimbal. All right. Gimbal. You know what it's, you know what to do. Okay. Here's your resources. She extends a little bit. So actually, that's that's a much better angle. How do you guys like that? Much better. Anyway, a um, few things I got from Amazon recently. I just wanted to show you guys. You know, I'm a huge, like, perfume connoisseur. Well, let me say this. In terms of my fragrance collection, um, it has dwindled down a bit. And I was very, I was always very frugal when it came to fragrances. Like, handbags, sunglasses, fragrances. Very, very, very frugal I am. I usually have a rule of 
a hundred dollars or less. So when I did have a monstrosity of a collection in terms of fragrances, she's now self-employed. So, so there's not as, as much funds as there used to be to allocate towards fragrances. Nonetheless, this is my leanest perfume purchase. See? Okay. Oh, that's better. See? I don't even know how to pronounce that. It's a wildly popular. I see it all over the place. It's a Middle Eastern perfume. I'm, I can't say it's like Dubai or I don't know, but this, I see a lot of um, this brand when it comes to unisex perfumes, um, unisex fragrances, you know, gender neutral type shit. When it comes to my fragrances, I'm very feminine floral with, um, you know, I like saffron notes. I like oud. Um, I love bergamot. Like there are some masculine that lean more on the masculine side in terms of scents that I like. And I love gender. I love unisex fragrances. So um, I'm hoping this is what that is going to give. I want something that's got some depth to, depth to it since we're in the midst of winter. Um, Latafa. I don't know if it's Latafa, Latafa, Latafa. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's L-A-T-T-A-F-A. -A -A. This isn't the first time I've purchased with them, um, but this is the first larger bottle that I have. And I bought this blindly. So that is a risk when, when it comes to fragrances. That is a big risk to take, um, which is why I usually wear all the same shit. So... But yeah, my perfume collection as of late, meaning since girls been self-employed, very cheap, very cheap. Like I'll get fragrances $25 or less just so I can get multiple, you know what I mean? So very, very inexpensive. And I was surprised to see how inexpensive this one was. And I think it was because it was on sale because usually this bottle, this bottle costs a bit more. See you guys. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm about to spray it right now and let you, let you guys know what I think. Um, yeah, Fakshar, Fakshar Latafa, I'm like trying to act like I know how I'm saying this, Fakar Latafa, I know it's a male, it's a man <laughs> that uh, this brand is by, and if you go on Amazon, several, there's several, and most of them are very, very masculine. I bought um, Bay One. I forgot what it's called. But anyway, this one is just Char Latafia. If I'm Latafia, Char Latafa. La girl, I don't know. But it's so pretty. I'm not going to lie. The packaging is decent um, for the price range that I usually stay in. And I want to say this was like on sale for like, I'm going to say like 25 I think it was like somewhere in the realm of 25, maybe 27. It just depends, but I'm not getting anything in. I'm not getting any notes yet. Hold on. Please don't be too masculine. How are you going to put something that masculine in a bottle like this? Like, come on. Don't play with me. Oh, ooh. I like the spray. The, the, um, ooh. Okay, I got a whiff on that initial, like in the air whiff was nice. And now, oh, I love, okay, so it's very gender neutral. It's very smack, smack dab in the middle. You smell it initially, the smell comes off very strong. Damn, I wish I could read the description for you guys because they're, they're dead ass. I remember. Oh my God, I used to have so many fragrances. My nose isn't what it used to be, but when I very much start getting that coin, girl, I'm gonna have so much perfume. When it dries down, it is so soft and it's very, that's not rose. Is that rose? Lilac? Oh, it's definitely got musk. Oh, that smells so good. There's vanilla, 
There's vanilla and there's musk for sure. I don't know what flower that is. I don't want to say gardenia too soon. Lily's light, so I don't think that's... That is lovely. Y'all, lovely. Oh my God, I think that's home. Damn. Oh, please. Anyway, guys, base home. Fire. Wow. Babe, this turned out to be so good. Isn't it pretty? That's what I was just telling them. Like, I'm used to being disappointed when I buy blind buy buy blindly when it comes to fragrances. Oh, and this is supposed to be gender neutral. Come smell this, please. Mm. That smells so good. I'm so fucking happy. So happy. And this is going to pair well, very well with my um, floral scents. Look how, like, do you smell that? You see how soft that is? And like the musk and the um, vanilla and the, ro I, I don't know if it's rose. I wanted a, something that was more gender neutral because most of my perfume is very feminine floral. And when you combine the two and layer them, girl. I'm, I'm going to be smelling like real edible. Like I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I want to keep this box lightweight because it's so pretty. Uh, <sighs> success. So happy. Anyway, so yeah, this was my most recent fragrance purchase on Amazon. And last thing, this. I've been hearing about this all over the vlog. All the girls have been talking about the Sticky Grippy. I love that name, Sticky Grippy. <laughs> Anyway, this very cheap. This was, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'll come back. I'll put it in the um, description box when I post this. Every one that I have watched that has gotten this and used it said it works like thoroughly. So I'm definitely in the need of this, especially to go like on the mirrors and like I want to do my skincare routine. Like this is going to be fire. So I'm so excited to use this. So these were just the two things that your girl recently copped on Amazon. I'm so fucking happy about this. Y'all don't even know. Uh, oh, that turned out to be so perfect. Anyway, I'll put all the notes and I'll put, you know, the price, the link and everything down, down below so you can check it out. Um, yeah, let me go ahead since Bay's home. Let me go ahead and get moving with what I need to do. And then I'll check back in with you if I do later. Probably when I'm making the bed or some shit. So love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.
Sacramento, <laughs> Sacramento, where you at? <sighs> yeah. Throw it up, y'all. Throw it up. Throw it up. I can't see ya. California. Oh. Oh. Let's show these fools how we do it on this west side. Because you and I know it's the best side.